Let me start by showing you this effect of gas solubility um, for onset time. So let's take sevofluorine. We'll make this sevo that we're giving. And it has a blood gas partition coefficient of 0.65 to 1. So there will be 0.65 particles dissolved in your blood for every one particle in the gas phase in your alveoli. In this diagram, we'll just show basically a fixed compartment of blood that moves through and picks up the gas from the alveoli here. And let's say you inspire 10 particles of SIVO, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. These particles are going to equilibrate based on the blood gas partition coefficient. So these will leave or dissolve into the blood and actually four of these will come over, one, two, three, four, and be dissolved in the blood here, leaving six in the alveoli, and that satisfies this 0.65 to one ratio. So if we have four particles in the blood over six left over in the alveoli, we get 0 0.66, so that's that's basically modeling now what the actual blood gas coefficient of sevofluorine is. As we've previously said, the MAC of sevo is 2%. MAC equals 2%, which corresponds to a partial pressure of 15 millimeters of mercury. So let's just say that that was what we originally gave, those 10 particles that came in was a, a 15 millimeter mercury partial pressure. Then we lost some of those particles to the blood because they dissolved in the blood, leaving six behind. So our remaining six are going to exert a partial pressure here of nine millimeters of mercury. And we said that the alveoli is in equilibrium with this blood. That's how the gas dissolved in here. So this is also nine millimeters of mercury. And then what's being sent off to our brain is blood with the partial pressure of nine millimeters of mercury. So what's actually getting to your central nervous system um, here is not uh, the 15 millimeters of mercury required for one MAC, uh, but it'll get there if we uh, give this enough time. Now let's consider what would happen in a gas that is more soluble. So let's take a hypothetical gas that has a blood gas partition coefficient of two to one. So you have two particles dissolved in the blood for every one particle in the gas phase. So here we have increased solubility. of our hypothetical gas. So we'll still start by giving this person an Fi of 10 particles. And we have our same compartment of blood that's flowing through here, so same volume of blood that passes by the alveoli. Now this will reach an equilibrium where there are two particles of gas dissolved in the blood for every one left in the alveoli. So Let's make that happen. And we'll have at least six in here. One, two, three, four, five, six. I guess we'd have six and two thirds in here and then three and one third particle left in the alveoli. Those original 10 particles that we brought in we're exerting a partial pressure of 15 millimeters of mercury. But now what's left over in the alveoli after reaching equilibrium is enough gas to reach five millimeters of mercury of partial pressure. And so what must have happened is that there is an equilibrium between these two phases and the, there's five millimeters of mercury in the blood and then being taken up to the CNS as well. So you have 
the effect site pressure of five millimeters of mercury hitting the brain, which is obviously less than the nine that we had here. So our gas, which was less soluble, was exerting a higher pressure at the central nervous system than our gas that was more soluble. So even though we have more gas particles dissolved in the blood here, that does not matter. The fact is here that the blood is simply just good at sopping up these, um, these gas particles. And the dissolved gas is not trying to escape the blood with as much pressure as it is in the case with the less soluble gas. By the way, your fraction of alveolar gas here is only 0.6. Of what you inspired so your FA over FI is 0 0.6 here and here your fraction of alveolar gas compared to what you have inspired is 0 0.33 and that is exactly what our inhalational uptake graph is showing where there's a point where the SIVO is going to be 0 0.6 and your halothane will be 0.3-ish. Don't mind my inaccurate y-axis here. The blood gas partition coefficient of SIVO being 0.65 to 1, and for halothane is actually 2.5 to 1, which is even a little bit more soluble than I showed you in our example. Okay, the next factors shouldn't take quite as long to talk about.